So I've been uh, spending quarantine doing street photography from my home on Google Maps. And it's actually kind of crazy. You know, I think a lot of people can agree when I say that this quarantine thing has not been kind to us street photographers. Now it can be tempting to head out there and document this uh, current time that we're living in, but you know, I'm not against taking a few shots maybe while you go to the grocery store to document what you see. And you know, for me in the videos I make on this channel, uh, the POV videos, you know, I, I don't think it's uh, responsible for me to be running around with a GoPro strapped to my chest taking photos of people. So one of the things I've been doing during my quarantine is virtual street photography. And I've been doing this with the Google Maps Street View feature. And if you don't know what Google Maps Street View is, it's basically a 360 view of uh, any street that Google Maps drives on. And they basically drive around the world with this car that has a 360 camera mounted to the top. And it captures this view for us to you know, use. You've probably heard of it or used it in the past. It's been around for a very long time but it's actually a sneaky, cool way to take photographs. And you know, it's inevitable for this car to capture the daily life of the world because it's, it's just driving around and it's not capturing things with an intent other than just capturing everything it, it sees. Now, I actually think there are a couple benefits to actually doing this, believe it or not. And <laughs> one, it's fun, first of all, and if you're stuck at home in this quarantine and you love street photography and you know, you're, you're itching to go out there and document the world, this is a little uh, way to distract yourselves from doing that and doing the responsible thing to stay home and protect other people's lives. Two is actually a sneaky way to practice developing your street photography eye. And you know, the only way to get better at street photography is to continually practice through experience. You know, you saw the photos there in the beginning of this video. You know, it takes an eye to notice those things. And so using this feature in Google Maps is a easy way for you to develop that eye and practice finding those compelling scenes and screenshotting them from your computer. Now, for the non-beginners to street photography, Google Maps Street View is actually a cool way to basically scout locations to places you haven't been to or plan on going to in the future. So say you have a trip that you wanna go somewhere. Um, Tokyo, for example, is a place where I'm gonna go later in this video. So this feature in Google Maps lets me go there. And you know, if I end up going to Tokyo, I actually have a few ideas of where to go and things to photograph because of Street View. You might come across a place in your own hometown, maybe, if you decide to go there that you haven't you know, seen or gone down that road yet, and you wanna see what's down there, you can check it out in Street View. But you know, I think it's just crazy that this feature exists for us to use and it's completely free. And you know, fourth and finally, it's an easy way to keep our creative juices flowing. If you've never done this before, you'll actually find that's actually pretty fun, you know, roaming around a city that you've never been to before. And so I think it's a harmless way to distract ourselves from you know current events and just try something new. So for the rest of this video, enjoy me going to Tokyo um, virtually. Uh, this is a place I've always wanted to go to, um, but for now, Google Maps is going to have to suffice. Let's hit the streets, let's hit the computer. All right, so here we are. Here's a uh, map of Tokyo. Um, I've never been to Tokyo before, so obviously I have no idea where anything is. So, um, I'm just gonna drop myself somewhere. Um, you can grab this little yellow person here and drop him on any of these blue highlighted roads. And here we are. Looks like we're just out of the city. There's a giant grayed out, uh, I don't know what that is, but all right. All right, look at that, some two people here. All right, so I'm gonna take a photo of them. So if you're on a Windows like me, uh, to screenshot, you do Windows print screen. Um, if you're on a Mac, it's Command, uh, Command 4, I believe. Let's 
keep going down this road. Just look at the colors. Oh, this little guy here. Snap a shot of him. Nice. All right, we're on the main road now, so I think this can lead us deeper into the heart of the city, which is where I want to go to. I'm just gonna be walking around now, just uh, snapping shots of things I find interesting. And that's really the whole point of this, really. Oh wait, no, let me go back. <laughs> Is that what I think it is? Look at this. Look at these little guys being pushed around in their little school bus carriages, which look like trash bins. It's so cute. I'm finding that in the past, the black and white edits work the best with a these screenshots just because the colors don't really render um, very well. So black and white is an easy way to make up for the quality loss in, in the color. All right, so it looks like you can bring up a map here on the screen. I'm gonna drag ourselves somewhere else. Here we go. Okay, yeah, so this is a Shibuya Crossing. This is actually where I wanted to shoot. Um, this is a nice scene. We have this car here, which really pops and it's kind of separated by everything else. Guy unloading a truck here. So for the sake of time, I'm just gonna fast forward through, through some bits, um, just because I think the, the point <laughs> of this video is not to show like me finding the photos, but just the photos that you can actually get in Google Maps. You know, it's not as uh, engrossing as of, of an experience to watch like my other POV videos, but um, you know, this is what life is like right now. Oh, nice. Lady's holding an umbrella while she's on her bike. Ooh, this is a nice scene. We have this guy at the end of the road, way in the back, but all these people in the front, in the foreground. And everyone's like in the mid-step. No, actually, let's go down this road. Ooh. I'm surprised they fit the car down this alley. Yeah, I, I don't know how they drove through there. This is interesting. I, I just love the vending machines in Tokyo. It looks like it was a trash day in Tokyo because I'm following this trash truck. Wait, let me capture this guy. He's just in such a weird stance. Okay, let's keep going. Now this, this is a shot that I would take in real life. All right, let's 
Keep moving through. Oh, this is a nice scene. I actually got a shot of this before when I did the first test run of this. I think when I go to Tokyo, it's gonna have to be in the summer. This guy getting something from the vending machine. Pop of pink. All right guys, so as you can tell, you can get a lot of cool photographs through Google Maps. It kind of blows my mind every time I jump on this thing and do this. Um, yeah, so I really encourage you to try this yourself. Um, I recommend doing this on your computer. I don't know how this would work uh, with the mobile app, but from my experience, computer works best. Also, when you're editing your photographs or screenshots, <laughs> Go really light on the editing because just the quality of the image, it's it can be tricky to edit them uh, correctly. And if you do too much, it will come out not really great. So be careful when you edit them. That's another thing. I think you should edit these just because the color is not there to begin with. The image from the screenshot is kind of like the raw image. So you are going to want to edit these. But yeah, have fun. Um, hopefully this is a fun distraction for you during quarantine. I know it has been for me. Drop down a comment below what you have been doing to pass the time in quarantine. Um, I'm really interested in seeing what you guys, other photographers have been doing. So do that and stay home.